All right, David Harry here. So in this video, I'm going to be doing an SSD speed test with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now this particular speed test should be exactly the same for the iPhone 15 Pro as well. Unfortunately, these particular speeds will not be the same for the standard 15 or the 15 plus because they only operate at 480 megabits per second as opposed to the 10 gigabits per second that the Pro and the Pro Max run at. Now for this particular test, I am going to be using a one terabyte Samsung T7 which is highly likely to be one of the most popular SSDs to be using with the new iPhone 15s and I will also be using this really short USB-C cable here now this is USB 3.2 Gen 2 it is capable of supplying up to 100 watts so basically 20 volts at 5 amps and importantly it is a 10 gigabits per second cable and the overall length of it is only 13.7 centimeters which makes it really ideal if you don't want to have long cable runs okay so what i'm going to do here is to get into a read and write speed test between the iphone and the t7 drive now what i'm going to do is do this all in one take and as i time it i will just speed up just one take so you know exactly what's going on so what i'm going to do first of all then is to connect the cable to the iphone I'll just do that and then connect the cable to the t7 drive here okay so that's in now we should see the t7 pop up momentarily in the actual locations here there we go so there's the t7 there now <clears throat> let me just position this a bit better so we can see what's going on now what i'm going to do here is bring another phone in and use this as a stopwatch so what i will do first of all is to copy a file from the iphone to the t7 so that's going to give us the read speed from the iphone to the write speed of the t7 so let me just do that so if i go to on my iphone here I've got a file here which happens to be a file off an Atomos Ninja V. So if I just go onto there and get info, as we can see there, this is a 72.03 gigabytes file. Basically, we'll just call it 72 gigabytes. So what I'm going to do is just come out of there. So let me just go to copy here. So I'm going to copy that file. And then what I'm going to do is go to the T7 here. Now this T7 has been freshly formatted and I've also done this to the APFS format. The main reason for that is because a lot of the time this particular T7 is going to be you know, being used on a Mac and APFS is the preferred format. However, it is also probably the preferred format for the actual you know, portable Apple devices as well because APFS will work on the iPhones and the iPad Pros and stuff like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to basically drop the file into there and try and hit start as quickly as I can on the phone here to time it. So let's see. In fact, let me try this. So I'll do paste and start. So paste and start. Okay, have I done? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's now starting to copy over. So don't forget what we're doing here is reading from the iPhone and then writing to the T7 drive. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to speed up through this and then I'll come back just before it reaches the end of the actual file being written. Okay, I'm just going to come back in here and get ready to hit stop as soon as I see this blue circle has gone full up here. It should be soon. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to call that 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Okay, so what I'm going to do now then is the return journey, as it were. So what we're going to do here is test the read speed from the T7 writing to the iPhone. Now, the iPhone is actually going to be slightly faster than whatever this T7 can do. However, this will still definitely give us a really good idea for this particular combination. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go to on my iPhone here. And I'm going to delete the original file from the iPhone. And then what I will do is go to the bin here. And let me just empty the bin. Okay. And so definitely there is no file left on the iPhone there. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is go to the T7. I'm going to select that 
the file there and then kind of find the button there it is copy there we go that was the right one okay so what i'm going to do now is go back to the iphone here and then i'm just going to paste it and then start the timer again so let me see if i can do this at the same time so let me get ready to hit the paste button and the start button on the watch here hold on so paste start okay so that's starting there and once again what i will do here is just speed up but just remember here one thing although this t7 is fast it definitely can't do 10 gigabits per second but like i've just said this will just give us an idea of how this combination is because it's likely that a lot of people will be using t7s and stuff with the iphones anyway let me just speed through this and we'll get a timing done Okay, so I'll come back here and get ready as soon as that blue dot is full. I'll hit stop. Okay, we're nearly there. There we go. Okay, so two minutes and 11 seconds I'm going to call that. Now, just give me a moment while I go away and make a few calculations. Okay, so having done some quick calculations here, what I'm going to do is actually call the read and the write exactly the same. There was only one second between them. And effectively, that just could be down to margin of error. So what I'm doing here is saying that we had a 72 gigabyte file, which is 7,200 megabytes per second. And then the reads and the write speeds, I'm saying were both 2 minutes and 10 seconds, which equals 130 seconds. So we divide the 7,200 by 130, which gives us 553.84, which basically if we just round that up to 554, gives us 554 megabytes per second as far as the read and the write speeds are concerned. Now, as far as that 554 megabytes per second is concerned, that is a much slower speed than what this particular iPhone is capable of on its USB-C port, because don't forget get this particular iPhone can do 10 gigabits per second which is 1250 megabytes per second so quite clearly we are less than half of the speed here for this particular test however that is going to be down to the T7 itself so if we had a much faster drive then obviously those read and write speeds would also increase they can't go past 1250 megabytes per second because obviously that is the limitations of the iPhone phone's USB-C port for this particular phone but yes you could get higher than 554 megabytes per second however it is worth noting that if you are using one of these T7s as an external storage device for recording ProRes 2 there is absolutely no form of ProRes which goes anywhere near 554 megabytes per second so technically speaking these T7 drives are actually way faster than the required for writing the ProRes files to the drive. Anyways, that'll do it for this video. There will be Amazon links to all the stuff that I've used in the video, and I think the one thing most people will definitely be very interested in is this short USB-C cable. So yeah, check out the links anyway for any of the stuff used in the video. I will also be doing a whole bunch of things for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So if you're into that type of stuff, especially stuff to do with video as well, definitely keep an eye on my channel, or maybe subscribe to the channel and click on on that bell notification icon to be notified of these videos as and when they come up okay that should just about do it for this video then and hopefully you have found it useful and insightful i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now